Right. Well, I, I think in the case of Russia, it was more ideology rather than religion. Right. You see the ideology as a religion, but in any event, uh, that in, uh, refers to the anti-religious campaigns, uh, militant atheism, which led to the destruction of many, many churches and much church art, even if the church was left standing. But you know, otherwise, there are major religions on the territory of uh, Russia, this vast Eurasian landmass, there's a sizable Muslim population, and they have their mosques and have started building mosques again very intensively. In the eastern part of the country, you have uh, Buddhist enclaves, so that you have uh, Buddhist lamaseries, or what they call a Datsan. I photographed those. Many of those were destroyed or severely damaged during the Soviet period, but are being rebuilt. Some of them with Chinese money uh, outside to support. Uh, so that uh, they show a certain mixture where these religions intersect. Architectural style shows a certain mixture. I've even written about that, but neither belief system is fundamentally changed or even threatened by the other. They have their ways of approaching a, a house of worship, uh, be it a church or a temple. Uh, the same thing goes for Jewish synagogues. Uh, they've been able to uh, exist. And, uh, although many were destroyed during the Soviet period, what is left gives us an idea of what the culture uh, that, that, that there was a culture there that it coexisted with the dominant political force, and it survived. It shows a, uh, 